Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. Taurus, I'm gonna jump in for the weekend spirit for you. Go ahead and see what we got for you. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear, concise messages for Taurus. Emperor energy, there's Taurus energy. Okay, so Taurus, you're rushing out of the you're you're rushing out of a burning building. This was somebody specifically. Somebody's rushing out of a foundation that's that's blowing up. Okay, it's been over, but it's finally crumbling. And I feel like you, this is you riding out just in time before it blows. Okay, because at one point you were stuck, you were buying it, you felt like you were anyway. Okay, message for Taurus for the weekend spirit. Think about it. Looking back on a collaboration, seven of pentacles with the three of pentacles is a ten. There's some type of foundation that you had, that you built. That left you in the cold or you left it in the cold. Could be some woman that you see as your everything is the one. But you've disappointed her or she's disappointed you. You put in the work or she's put in the work. But now somehow I feel like she's done it. You disappointed her. She put in all that work and you disappointed her. Now you want to find out how to balance it because you know it's a soulmate. Ten of swords. Something's over here. I haven't seen that ten of swords in a while. Page of wands. If something's over, but something new is beginning here. Eight of wands. Yeah, there's something coming to a close here. There's communication about an ending. And then they're starting something new. So somebody could be sitting at, look, we got two of Pentacles with the two of Wands and the two of Somebody sitting at a crossroad. Somebody's got a decision to make. If they're going to, um, there's some type of decision here. Turn about the two of Swords. For Taurus, it's three cards that say decision out here, so it's definitely decision. You gotta end something. You pausing to reflect here about the truth, about a triumphant new beginning, about starting something new that is stable. Okay, I see why, because it's with this Empress. But before you can do that, there's something you gotta put an end to. Whether it be your thoughts being imprisonment for you or some type of situation. But this what needs to happen in order for you to have this new beginning. So about this two of wands for Taurus. So there's some confusion here or your options. Somebody has options here. I I might be confusion. They don't want they want to know if it's gonna last, if this is gonna be something that if they invest in this, is it gonna be something that lasts? Okay. So I'm about the two of pentacles. So they're weighing their options. Like is it gonna last or is it not? Do I invest in it or do I not? So I'm about the two of pentacles. See, somebody's allowing their self to stay confused on purpose because somebody, it says with the two of pentacles. We got the two, we got the king of swords with the queen of swords. And even though this person hates to see it, they see the potential of the, what this could be. Okay? So now they need to clear up the confusion by presenting this something small but something stable. But the problem is they want to hold their feelings in. Taurus, you want to hold your feelings in, that makes you king of cups. Well, not so big, no bad, because the Queen of Cups is here. But the Queen of Cups needs emotional, she needs emotional fulfillment. She needs some emotional um, availability, okay? And if you are um, not showing up emotionally, you're not looking emotionally available. So tell me about this Ten of Swords for Taurus. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Taurus?
Somebody gained a new perspective about the abundance, about how they was guarded, about how they treated it, how they did it. They gained the truth. And with that truth, they standing up and fight for this, the stability. So they see why it's over. They see the part that they prayed, they played, and now they're ready to start it fresh to have another chance here. Tell them about the Prince of Wands for Taurus. Yeah, somebody's, they guard it, but they want a second chance. But they're concerned about starting fresh with this Queen of Wands, okay? They're concerned that she might retreat. You know, she might leave and abandon them or keep leave, leave them heartbroken. Okay? Talk about the Eight of Wands. Princess of Swords. This person needs... They have a lack in perception, or you do. You gotta, it's going to change. I feel like this is going to change your perspective. Whatever happens here, it's going to change your perspective because it's three tens here. That means the cycle's coming to a close here in order for you to have equal give and take judgment. A decision is being made about this lover's connection. I do feel like somebody's putting down the burdens of being all by themselves, keeping it all balled up by themselves. Claiming to be happy when they're really not. Ten of Cups is supposed to be happy, but if you look at it, it's not that damn happy. You ain't looking that damn happy. So somebody's getting rid of the facade to tell the truth. Alright, out with the fa out with the facade and in with the facts. That's what I got for you, Taurus. And I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in your next video. Namaste.